Yo, what's up, guys? It's the Viet Nomad coming at you live from Hong Kong, bustling city. This girl's walking fast. And I've been learning Cantonese a little bit and some Mandarin, prepping for my trip to Taiwan. I leave tomorrow. But I've learned a lot about what it's like to try to learn a language in a big city where everyone's kind of busy and you know, a little bit of a hustle bustle mentality. Sometimes it's harder to find people that are willing to practice the language with you. I found it's been quite similar here in Hong Kong as in New York or Paris. You know, big city, everybody's got the briefcase wearing suits on the way to work. So the question is, what do you do when it's hard to find somebody to, to talk to and teach you their language and have a native speaker to talk to? Well, first off, you got to make sure you're pronouncing what you're trying to say correctly. Uh, for a while, I was going out here in Hong Kong. I thought I was saying, you know, how are you, which is le ho ma, but I was saying li hao ma, which is like a cross between Mandarin and Cantonese. And nobody understood what I was saying. And because of that, they were just more confused and it was even harder to, <laughs> to talk to them and practice. So finally, I went up to person working at my hotel and I said hey how do I say this am I saying it right and then I finally got the pronunciation not perfect but good enough so that people can understand me and then once I started just saying that and people understood me then you know it changed everything and I got the responses another huge tip that I've learned you know when you're trying to learn a language on the streets like I do is it's all about who you're talking to Timing is clutch as well, but it depends. If it's a businessman and he's coming up to you trying to sell you on a tailored suit or a copy watch, as they call them here, then it's probably not a high probability that they're going to want to practice their Mandarin or Cantonese with you or help you practice. Um, they're probably just trying to sell you something. But if their job is to serve you, for example, at a restaurant, at a cafe, at your hotel, or someone that you're paying to do your laundry, etc., that's when you have more of a leverage to practice because they're already helping you, you're giving them service, and that's when you want to take advantage of that and practice the language. But if it's just a random stranger and they're trying to sell socks on the street and you go up to them and say, oh, li hao ma, and you're just trying to like talk to them, they're going to assume that you want to buy socks from them and they're thinking in that business mindset trying to sell to you. So you want to be careful who you approach and who it is you're talking to. So keep that in mind. Make sure you got the pronunciation right. Make sure you're going out and talking to the right people that don't seem too busy. Another thing I didn't even touch on, if they're looking like they're in a rush and they've got a briefcase and looking on their phone, you know, checking email, they're probably not going to want to talk to you no matter what you have to say or what language it's in. So keep that in mind. The people who are less busy, you know, hanging out at a shop, you go in to buy some water, that's when you can really get to practice and start asking them questions. So I hope this video helped. I am about to go catch a ferry going to Lama Island. Um, I've heard it's cool and it's a little bit foggy and rainy here in Hong Kong, but other than that, I can't complain. Beautiful city and uh, very international. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys appreciated this video. I'll definitely have more videos coming from Taiwan where I'm definitely going to double down on Mandarin because here it's, it's a blend of all different languages. Before I go, I'll give you guys a little bit of a view. Alright, I gotta go. That's my brother telling me we gotta go. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.